Hello and welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to talk about embedding JavaScript code in a web page. As you know, there are three types of writing JavaScript code into HTML. The first one is inline JavaScript, second one is embedding JavaScript, and the third one is external JavaScript. In the previous lecture, we already discussed about inline JavaScript, what is meant by inline JavaScript, and the example program of inline JavaScript. And today we are going to discuss about what is meant by embedding JavaScript and then we see the example of embedding JavaScript. Okay, so before moving to the program, let's see the basics of embedding JavaScript. That is what is meant by embedding JavaScript. To add the JavaScript code into HTML page, we can use the script tag. Like in the previous lecture in inline JavaScript, we don't need the script tag. We directly write down the code inside the body tag without using script tag. But in embedding JavaScript, we can use the script tag, the opening script tag and closing script tag for the HTML that wrap around JavaScript code inside the HTML program. User can also define JavaScript code in the body tag or in the head tag because it completely depends on the structure of web page that the users use. So you have to remember only these two points regarding the embedding JavaScript. In embedding JavaScript to write the JavaScript into HTML page, we can use the script tag and this script tag we can use inside the head tag or body tag. Now let's move on to the example program. Okay, so here open the notepad plus plus or any other editor to write the HTML code. So first I'm going to write down the structure of HTML document. So first write down the HTML tag, then head then title write down the title as for example embedding javascript then close the title tag then i am going to close the head tag then opening body tag closing body tag and then closing html tag so this is a basic structure of html document now let's save the program first Let's name the file as embed.html. Okay, so here is a basic structure of HTML document. Now inside the body tag, I am going to write the simple paragraph, a simple statement. For example, in this example, we are going to see the use of embedding JavaScript and then close the paragraph tag. Okay, so I am going to display this simple statement to the browser. Okay, now I am going to write the code for embedding JavaScript. So for this, we can use the script tag to write the code. And this script tag we can use inside the head tag or inside body tag. Let's first write down the script tag inside the head tag. So here is the opening script tag and closing script tag. And inside this now inside this script tag, I am going to write the simple statement. For example, document dot write in bracket double quotation. Welcome to JavaScript. Okay, so here I am going to print the statement that is a welcome to JavaScript into the output screen. So here I use document dot write. Instead of document dot write, you can also use console dot log or alert alert is a dialog box so this is a simple program now let's save the program and run it okay so here is a javascript code the embedding javascript code which we write inside the script tag and this is a statement which we write down inside the paragraph tag in the body section Okay, now I am going to do some changes inside our program. Okay, so now I am going to write down this script tag. Here I am going to cut this and paste it inside the body section, body tag. So after paragraph tag, I am going to insert the script tag. Okay, so when we execute the program, then first the paragraph tag is executed. Means Inside paragraph tag, we write down some uh, statements, then that statements will be printed first and then inside script tag statements are printed on the output screen. So let's save the program and run it. 
okay so this is a paragraph tag which is executed first because it is written first in our body tag and then the other statements are executed okay so this is a simple program of embedding javascript into html i hope you understand today's lecture very well if you have any doubt any query regarding this topic then let me know in the comment section i will try to answer your all the questions thanks for watching